Hey, you clicked on my video. Appreciate it. Now be sure to like the video and subscribe to the page. Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Outta My League. I'm Nick Diaz. How much courage do any of you have? How much? How much courage could you give before you ran out? Now, I've seen majority of people say, Good luck to Miles Brennan. I'm sad it didn't work out. Gave his all for LSU. But I'm also seeing some people say, Miles Brennan is a coward and he's a quitter. Once a quitter, always a quitter. And you know what? They're right. Miles Brennan doesn't have any more courage to keep playing football anymore. You know why? Because he used it all up on the LSU Tigers. He has nothing left. See, Miles Brennan committed to LSU a few months after Les Miles was almost fired in 2015, and then he wasn't. He still had the courage to commit to a lame duck head coach and an offensive coordinator in Cam Cameron that hadn't done shit and had been running the most outdated offense and quarterback development LSU had ever seen. After Les and Cam were fired, he then tweeted out a month later during his visit to the LSU game day, about a month later, saying, Yep, LSU is definitely the place for me, with purple and uh, gold heart emojis. He had the courage to stay committed to a place that hadn't even hired a damn coach yet. And after Ogeron got the job full-time, old Eddie O decided he was going to offer to a tongue of Iloa, and Miles Brennan was then told to reopen his commitment and consider going to Oklahoma State instead because he didn't feel loyalty with the new staff after they had offered Tua and also had another quarterback, Louisiana quarterback, and Lowell Narcisse already committed to the Tigers as well. But yet, Miles still signed with LSU to a defensive coach that went 10-28 and 28 at Ole Miss for three seasons. Then, they go and get Joe Burrow and name him the starter. And every other quarterback transfers, including the Louisiana native Lowell Narcisse, who's in the exact same class as Miles Brennan, but Miles Brennan stayed. Miles Brennan gets hurt in the Missouri game in 2020. He still had the grit to finish the fucking game, even though they didn't really know what was wrong with him. Miles Brennan had a game in high school where his bone was sticking out of his left arm during that game, and he chose to stay and finish it before going to the hospital. LSU hires a new coach this past year, and he has the courage to come out of the transfer portal, go back and compete for the starting job instead of going to Southern Miss, where the Southern Miss staff pretty much promised him playing time to showcase. Then LSU brings in Jaden Daniels, and Miles has until the end of April, the end of April, beginning of May, to enter, enter the transfer portal once again to go to Southern Miss again, but he still had the courage to stay. And let me tell you something else. Miles Brennan has an NFL arm talent, an arm talent that would make any NFL roster as a backup or a practice squad player. So let's say Miles Brennan goes to Southern Miss. He lights it up, throws for 4,000 yards, 30-something touchdowns. He gets drafted in the 5th, 6th, or 7th round at best, okay? I've seen worse quarterbacks than Miles Brennan being taken in those rounds. If he gets taken in those rounds, Miles Brennan at least gets paid $3.5 million contract to be essentially a practice squad player. $3.5 million. He could have taken that route to Southern Miss multiple times from the end of his freshman year all the way back to the end of April four months ago. Matter of fact, Miles Brennan is a grad student. He could do that right now, right now with three weeks left until the start of the season with two years of eligibility at 23 years old. He can do that right now, but he isn't. You know why he isn't? He ran out of it. He's got nothing left. He's been using Every bit of courage he had from 16 to 23 years old. And all because of one reason. All because of one reason. He loved LSU. And he loved the LSU fans. That's what that tweet was about when he was on his official visit. It was about the LSU fans. He used it up for you. He used every last bit of courage he ever had on you. So I fucking dare any of you to leave a fucking comment under this video saying Miles Brennan is a quitter. I fucking
fucking dare you to do it. I motherfucking dare you to do it. How many of you took higher paying jobs because it was easier? How many of you moved closer to home? How many of you transferred schools? How many of you broke up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend because, well, things just weren't working out like I wanted them to? I am so sick and tired of these old school fucking hypocrites saying, once a quitter, always a quitter. That boy needs to learn some life lessons. Game of football ain't for everybody. You know what? Last week, Michael Cobble of WBRZ Channel 2 talked about what he saw in Miles Brennan at practice last Thursday. I just feel like Miles is out of the picture, and it almost feels that way. Like, I hate to say it, but it kind of feels like go through the motions kind of thing. Like, I was excited to see the energy from him on the Brian Thomas touchdown pass. I just, like, he ran down the field to jump it up with him, and I thought that was good because that wasn't a lot of, you know, what I had seen, I just, body language, I guess, right? I'm reading body language. It's reading tea leaves, whatever you want to say. But um, I just felt like, yeah, I just, I didn't feel that certain sense of urgency with him. It, it really felt like he's done this for the seventh year in a row and like, all right, I'm just going to go out here and throw. So um, yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more pop in him. And, and maybe that's, maybe that's a, a sign of things to come. I don't know. Nothing left. Apathy had set in but he still kept going. And that's what Brian Kelly told Miles. He said, you're not our guy. We don't want you as the starter. That's why Miles Brennan is leaving. And Miles Brennan's choice, even though he said, you're not going to be the starter this year no matter what, Miles Brennan's choice was not to transfer, but to just stop playing football, period, for the rest of his life. To leave all of those highlights, all those statistics, three and a half million dollars potential on the table in the NFL to make a roster, all because he has got nothing left to give. Because he gave it all up for you, and he gave it all up for LSU. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok in the description link below.